everybody. I'm doing a session for a client. I'm going to be sharing psychic wisdom and energy healing. If any of you are interested in exploring a session with me, please go to my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. You're also welcome to join my Patreon community at patreon.com slash abbynormalswisdomquest. I'm doing reduced cost sessions out there as well. Okay, shall we get started or what? I'm going to read these goals out loud. Then I'm going to tune in and we will see what comes up. And thank you so much for the opportunity to connect with you on this very exciting process you're going through. And thank you for sharing with us here on YouTube. All right, so here we go. This is what you say. I'm 38 weeks pregnant. Congratulations, by the way. I'm very excited to have my firstborn child. I'm looking for support and preparing my body for labor and energy work for my heart. I've struggled with low iron and my resting heart rate is 122 beats per minute. So I do feel short of breath a lot. Also, I had this date in mind for having my baby on the 13th of August. Will my baby be born on the 13th? I know that would be premature. It's something I'm curious about. Just to be prepared and like energy work and support of my body and heart through the delivery of a healthy, happy baby when the divine time comes. Thank you, Abby. All right, so you're 38 weeks pregnant. The 13th of August is literally just around the corner. And you've also been struggling with low iron. Resting heart rate is 122 beats per minute. So you're also feeling short of breath. There's a lot going on here. But you're ready to have this baby. And you want to have a successful delivery. You want it to be comfortable, process as comfortable as possible, right? So energy work to support your body in the process of giving birth to a healthy, happy baby. All right. Oh, man, this is going to be so awesome. You know how cool this is for me? Congratulations one more time on, on getting through 38 weeks of being pregnant. I know what hard work that is. I have three kids. One of them is born on the 13th of August. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that is just crazy. Okay. There's no coincidences in the whole wide universe about anything, you know? All right. I'm really, I'm really excited for you. And the parallel is really interesting. I'm just relaxing here so I can let all my other stuff go. Really tap into your goals. And let's see where this takes us. All right, so I'm, I'm here with you and we're standing in front of God, the cosmic universe, and we're talking about this stuff. And I see doors opening here. And actually there's a lot of nurses coming in. And you're saying, I'm ready, I'm ready now. I'm ready now. And you've decided that the 13th of August is the date, is the due date, which means you're going to be going into labor here pretty soon. And it's all, it's like all hands on deck kind of in the energy world. It's, I see nurses coming in from different doorways, from different sides of a sphere, actually. And then it's all hands on deck, okay? But I see you sitting in a chair like a cushy lazy boy type chair and you're just waiting and you're rocking and you're just waiting and you're eating popcorn and you're just waiting and you're just waiting rocking in this chair and you're like uh god hello hello god i've got the watch on here hello <laughs> god hello i need to go in labor soon <laughs> hello please i it's time and you're rocking still. And it seems like these nurses are disappearing. Like maybe it was a wishful thinking type concept. 
and you feel a bit alone and out in the cold. Not that bad, just so you know. It's more like maybe it's a longing to be ready to be the mother now instead of the pregnant person. <laughs> the pregnant, you're, you're pregnant woman. You're, you're already in mother mode. You already have a baby. But you're going to be in legit mom mode here very soon. Baby in arms, bossing you around. <laughs> you're ready for that. And so if the time hasn't come yet and you even have to wait a few more days, a few more weeks, it's almost like agony. It's like being left out in the cold. It's like standing at the door of God and it's a wintry um, scene and you just, nobody's answering. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Okay. Baby's listening. Baby's comforting you. I'm here. I'm here, mama. I'm here. You're not all alone. You're not alone in this. I'm here with you. And it's a bit of a, a conflict between your mind and your world, your, your decisions, and the inspiration of another mind, another creator. And, and they're, what time they're ready, what time... It, it's like uh, we're going to have to compromise. I see um, you decide, I see uh, baby decides, and now I see like right and left sides having to make a compromise on what the due date is going to be, and I see budding heads, okay? <laughs> I see stubborn, two stubborn people budding heads, <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. So could we take just the date out of the picture? Like, let's not worry about the date, August 13th. It seems to me like it's, your, it's, it's something that you're asking for. It's something that you're vibrating out there. It's something that is your... It's actually more like your... It's like your comfort blanket instead of your reality. It's something about it is saying... Um, let it be a surprise. Don't, don't put a date out there. Just let it be a surprise. And let it be your baby's surprise for you. And let yourself wonder. Let yourself be surprised. Let it be unknown. Almost like it's a lesson in your court about patience and the unknown. What's interesting is you're 38 weeks, so 40 weeks is full term. <laughs> and it feels like two weeks of time is like a year of your life to go. Almost unbearably so. I can't do two weeks. You're asking me for 12 more months of my life. <laughs> That's what those two weeks are like in your energy field. It feels like 12 more months of your life. And my guides aren't saying, we're not going to look this that this is 38 weeks or 40 weeks or August 13th. And we're not going to look at numbers and specific dates here. We're going to let all that stuff go because it's actually stressing your body out. It's stressing your mind out. You could say that the pregnancy is, uh, is hard on your body. I mean, with the heart rate and the iron deficiency and the short of breath. Um, but there is a harmony and a balance to all of this. So if you can hang in there energetically, the most angelic thing that you could do for yourself and your baby, the most angelic thing is to hang in there and let let it be a surprise let it happen that's the first thing that i'm supposed to do to help you have the most stress-free pregnancy or delivery that it could ever be okay the most stress-free okay delivery is this affecting 
you're... Let me just pause for a moment. Yeah, now that we've talked about this, I need to go into your pregnancy. <sighs> I'm gonna... <laughs> Okay, I see a body that actually is really devoted to this process, okay? Is ridiculously devoted to this process and is not, um, is, this is, you're going to see this all the way through. Your body is devoted to this process. And your body is not your mind. Your body is your totality. And it's got a mind of its own. And it is devoted to this process. It would be like, Let's say there's something you're very, very passionate about and you would give it your all, okay? So get your mind out of the way and now see your body is doing that. It is giving its all to this process and it's not going to let you down. And you can say, oh, it's letting me down in here, <laughs> in my head. It's letting me down because my head decides what it wants, not my body. <laughs> no, body is really... Um, stubborn here as well <laughs> okay so i feel i'm like telling god okay i feel like we've talked enough about this i really want to focus on preparing your okay that's the conflict that's what the conflict is are you in pregnancy or are you in delivery because if i start preparing your body for delivery it's almost like your sneaky way of undermining a process that you're not putting in God's hands, you're putting it in your hands and saying it. So let's see what we can do here, okay? I'm gonna always honor what your request is and let's see if we can accomplish it, okay? There are many angels here. This is, oh man, there's like, um, this is the coolest thing ever. What if at the moment of e when each, each individual person is born into this world, like a thousand angels show up for this delivery, for this process, are there for the mother, are there for the father, are there for the family members, are there for the baby, um, between the fetus and the soul and the, and the delivery and the, the, the human that's now entered into this world, like, Imagine it is the most profound celebration and profound and profoundly honoring and respectful exchange of love and support anybody's ever known for each individual person that's born. And now this is the next thing I am to lift you into what is a bassinet of water called holy water. <laughs> You're giggling. <laughs> You're laughing. I'm like, I'm a caring pregnant woman putting you in a, literally what is defined as a bassinet, but it looks more like a bath, okay, of holy water. And you're giggling about this. And you're, you're really, I don't know, I want to say tickled by it is the right word. And you, you're glowing. You really are glowing. And you say thank you to me. <laughs> I say you're welcome. I say you are in a safe heavenly bath now. And then I see angels come and they have warm towels and they place the warm towels around your back and your shoulders and you're kind of positioned a little bit more forward now and the water is comforting your body. It's holding your body on all sides and it is warm water and it is very, <sighs> this warm water is actually very comfortable. And you're looking into all the faces of all of those who are here. There are faces of people in the physical and face of people in the spirit realm. And anybody you could imagine or not imagine. 
there are even souls that might even be incarnate beings right now that you um, value them and they're here in spirit too even if they couldn't be here in physical they're also here in spirit not just your ancestors deceased loved ones um, but actual your friends them are also here in spirit friends and family are here in physical too and there's all kinds of angels here and archangels and it's very heavenly looking scene and the vibration is extremely high and there's something about uh, tuning forks and there's a triangle and it's being ding like this and then i start to experience a, um, a rumbling okay a very, a very noticeable rumbling sensation around us and you're kind of confused this is a little scary okay and a huge portion of this scene is chunked off and then it's pulled away by a vacuum and then i start to experience a vacuum sensation is happening and you're very disoriented like a bird that just fell out of the nest and got hit on the head and you're saying what kind of what kind of hell is this like that's kind of what you're saying but really it's the transformation process from being pregnant to delivery to full-fledged mother here baby in arms and baby bossing you around <laughs> that's what they do <laughs> you don't boss the baby the baby bosses you that's why there's that movie called boss baby <laughs> you're gonna have so much fun with this <sighs> And you start to cry and you say, this is overwhelming. And you're streaming tears. And you feel just like you're faded. Fading out in the water. Everything was so bright and, and so cheerful and so beautiful. And then the triangle makes the sound. Like there's the tuning forks and I hear a triangle specifically. And then it's like the whole world kind of broke in a portion of it. And then everything is being vacuumed out. And it's like vacuuming out your sense of safety and security and comfort and ease. And that uh, kind of reminds me of what labor is like. It, it's inconceivable until you're in it. It literally is called labor for a reason. And it's, it's, I feel like it's the worst freaking... I, I feel like it's a... I don't want to call it a really bad joke, but sometimes in life, it, it is not, it's like some things are just rude. Like, it is rude how freaking painful labor is. It's rude. I mean, as if we don't have to go through enough, now we have to go through labor. It's rude, God. Rude. <laughs> it's not nice. It's not funny. It's freaking terrible. It's like if God had a dark side, right? He'd be laughing at our suffering. <laughs> And that's what this reminds me of labor is labor, okay? It's called labor for a reason. And women have been doing it for thousands of years. And you're part of the same sacred, um, sacred initiation. That all women get to experience the sacred initiation into womanhood, motherhood. And it's really, I mean, you are a precious gift to this world for having this blessing of a baby for all of us thank you so much for this and something breaks and i start to see blood and it scares you and i say your baby's just fine and i see that um one of the a major visualization they want you to be reminded of is your baby's safe and to see your baby surrounded in a protective light okay and the light is, the baby is smiling, is peaceful, and there's no tyranny or terror or emotional stress or anything, okay? And the baby is inhaling and exhaling peace of mind because it will give you peace of mind and will help you to feel connected to the process of delivery. It doesn't feel like you're, you're quite there yet between mind and baby and body and the process of delivery. But me talking about this is already getting you there. 
And they're saying something about the pain of labor gets you um, into the right kind of concentration. And your focus now, not on what was comfortable or easy going before, but what is now taking all of your mental, emotional, and physical strength just to get through each one of these contractions. And it will pull all of your attention into each contraction. It will do that, okay? It will get to that point where it will do that. And once you start to really focus on the seriousness of this process, that's when your body is going to start to give in to this process. And I'm telling your body, one of the things that your body is echoing to me is that it doesn't want to let go of this baby. It, it says, I don't, I do not want to let go of this baby. It's almost like, it's almost like your, your mind could decide the date, but your body does not want to ever let go of this baby. Like almost possessively holding the baby, holding onto the baby. The, the body does not want to let, because it is so, it's, it's actually, this baby has been very, very healing for you. And whether you're aware of it in your mind or not, this baby has been very, very healing for your body, healing for your divine feminine space, like an extraordinary gift that has brought nurture to a place that is sacred and has felt that and doesn't just want to let that go, like some kind of breakup or something that it doesn't want to just let that go. Like this is, it's like, um, I mean, to let go of someone you love with all your heart. It's just almost impossible. Okay? So I have to help your body know that it is safe, that nothing is lost here, only gained. And the body's weeping. I can't... Body keeps saying, I can't lose this baby. I can't lose this baby. As though once delivery happens, the baby then is lost. Even if it's a healthy delivery, the body feels like it is losing something precious that it must hold on to for as long as it is forever even. Because it has something that is precious, that it that is nurturing a part of you that needed this love, needed this love. All right, I am going to have to do something here. This is important. There's a bunch of different spirits that are coming out of you. And they seem like parts of yourself that may have gone kind of A-wire. You know, like A-wall. A they just, life messes us up. We have different parts of ourselves that are on our team or against us. This is our relationship with ourselves. We can't stand ourselves. We can't stand this about ourselves. And then we have these parts that, you know what? I love you just the way you are. Well, what do you th what what do you think about me? Do you, do you love me or do you not love me? It's like this relationship with yourself, okay? And they they're like eight of them, and they're kind of they're like. <laughs> they're kind of acting really weird like that <laughs> like really but they're they're shaky they're um they're confused they're kind of um buzzing around like kind of annoying flies so i touch the heart of each and every one of these and they're all grayed out and they're they're part of the part of your body that needs to hold on to this, um, to the pregnancy. Part of the parts of you that were hurt along the way of your life. And this uh, baby's actually re reconciling them, reconciling those parts so that those parts can heal and either A, return to you or return to source. Um, so either way, we're all a part of source. So it's, it, we're all a part of it anyway. It's part of me then too, you see, like we're all a part of this. They're struggling to calm down. They're stressed out. They're 
um, pointing fingers at you. They blame you. They're questioning everything. They're putting themselves down. They're not... Um, they're not sharing anything that's optimistic, hopeful, bright. Um, they're like Debbie Downers. <laughs> but they seem to feel pretty certain that they're honest people. <laughs> yeah, honest Debbie Downer people. <laughs> they were born from... Why? What is up with the letter D? Depth of... Depth of... They're born from despair or something so born from the depths of despair that became the Debbie Downer <laughs> like sheesh how many of you are there like eight of you and you're like annoying flies I'm just gonna be honest but I know you're in pain so I know that's why and you need to you need to feel safe with the process of going into labor now and they're starting to turn into moths. But they're kind of clingy too. And then I see your baby turns into a bright light and shares a, like blows a kiss to each and every one of these. There's a, most of them are moths, but there's still a few that aren't yet. And that now they all start to come together as one. But I don't understand what they're emanation is other than like a liquid a gray liquid kind of um, emanate feeling lost and confused and clinging toward fear then towards freedom and love and light but the kiss is received and it's received in the heart and I see it now turn into you and you cry and you say I don't want to let you go and then your baby says Mama, I'm right here, and you're here with me. And then it's like, like, to the spirit part of you. And she says, is it true? And you have to give permission to this part of you to return, because she was broken somewhere along the way, like a part of you that snapped off, and she just really wanted to be a mother. And somehow there's a major disconnect for her and having that fulfilled. And that she's the part that's kind of separate, that's holding on to the baby that doesn't want the part that can decide the due date <laughs> to get that decision. So you see how this is like a really interesting love triangle. Is that what the triangle is all about? It's also kind of a sign from God like um signifying that the time is here the time is now and god actually comes and holds her hand this part of you it seemed to me like she was going to return but she, there's sort of a gateway opening up and she's asked to come and and heal and the, it's basically a garden of of it's a garden of life, but there's babies everywhere. There's like baby angels. There's little baby baths. I, she's just here, just enjoying laughing, happy babies in a garden of life. And it's full of golden light and healing water. And that's it. I see that she becomes a part of all of that really positive energy. And she starts to awaken inside of yourself and she gives the signal that it's she's it's like she's giving the signal that she accepts um, the birthing process she accepts the birthing process as in she accepts the divine time for this delivery and it seems to me like you do have the power to influence the due date. And I personally would lean in the direction of not thinking too hard about that, but energetically, if that's where your heart is, and energetically, 
everything feels pretty bright here to me. She's even sending you this part of yourself that's been reborn inside of you. She's sending you images of the the baby angels, the you know, basically birthing baths, baby baths, uh, tranquil waters, shimmery sunlight on shimmery water, golden light, um, heavenly sounds, heavenly songs. And she's um, filling you with this from head to toe to head to toe. And now what we saw was that breakdown of this heavenly space and the vacuum suction sensation um, just disappears from our memory. The conversation that labor is labor is disappearing from our memory. And we're seeing the scene change. And your relationship with this hard work is shifting gears. And there's something of just a moment, please. I freaking suddenly feel very, very exhausted. <sighs> like, like having absolutely no energy left in my very body. And I'll try to explain the scene. It was like you were, you were doing this exhale, but all of this light was just cut, like breathing into you. And it was giving you more energy and more momentum. And it was actually giving you a lot more energy, a lot more momentum. And it was closing the gap of time and it was closing the gap of um, the resistance in your body, which has disappeared. And the joy of, a, a, expression which is the release or the delivery of the baby and the it's like this harmonious balance of you returning to your nature and you getting to enjoy the uh, like the mystery story of the nature of your newborn baby which is pretty exciting You feel tucked in, you feel peaceful. I wanna say that the 13th, um, it, there is possibility for the 13th, but I just, I also feel like your body is this, it knows what it's doing and it's not possessive over this. There's not that imbalance there. This time it just knows what it's doing and is it a peace whenever the time comes for the calling of the baby to be born. And to let it be a surprise is coming back around. And to get excited about that surprise and be peaceful in this time. Anything else I can share? Anything for your heart? The golden light, the baby baths, the baby angels. I'm just really amplifying the sound of that space. The part of you that snapped off and then rehabilitated and reborn inside yourself, glowing with light. I'm really amplifying that sound here in your heart. The pressure is off of you. The pressure is off your heart. This pregnancy is easy now. It's easy now. It's easy now. You feel lighter on your feet now. You feel easy breezy. Lighter in your mind. Lighter in your body everywhere from head to toe. Lighter, lighter in your body. Lighter in this process comfortable, peaceful in this process. I am safe, I am comfortable, I am peaceful in this process. Really amplifying the sound of these words here and really amplifying it here with light and color and joy and happy babies in your heart. Not in any rush, trusting in the divine time. 
it's okay to welcome a due date, but it's okay to be surprised. All right, that's what I meant to share. This was so fun. Thank you so much for this. Thank you for sharing with all of us. And all of you watching out there, thank you for your love and support of my clients. Hope you all have a really amazing day.